In this example, we're going to think about how we can model a UI when the application doesn't already exist. And despite the application not actually existing, many of the core concepts surrounding modeling still remain the same. However, there are some key differences. For example, at the start of this model, you see we are laying out three blocks that explain the high level goal or high level use case of this page that we've modeled. Now, as we're going through, you'll see that much of the, much of the same logic exists. However, if we take a look at some of the automation, these are simply placeholders in terms of we are now waiting for the application to be built and the automation code to actually exist so that we can then overlay on top of model. You'll see that as, it, as it is in previous models, we've still got the three different types of, of blocks um, and we're still mapping out the different user journeys and combinations of data that will exist on the application. Modeling upfront is a key part of test or behavior driven development, because you can see here on the screen, we've now created three different paths through our application. Now these paths can be either you know, user stories that developers can use to write the application, or they can be our initial test scenarios that we're actually using um, and testing against as soon as the application is ready and available to be tested. 